Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a drive axle on your 95 Accord. So the first thing you want to do is unstake your drive axle bolt. And then you want to do is break that bolt loose. Uh, put the car on the ground, so I use my burger bar and a 5 foot steel pipe over that. So after that loose, take the drive axle nut off. And then take your lower control arm bolt off here. So take that off. And what you need to do is break the lower ball joint loose. So what I do is I jack the lower control arm all the way up until you know until it the car starts to go up and put your half inch drive socket wrench in that space. Drop it real quick. You hear that pop? That's the uh, the joint breaking loose. So that's how I do it. So just drop the jack really fast. And then what you want to do is take the drive axle, the outer part out. So tap on it really lightly with the hammer. And you might have to break this lower, the fork uh, bolt loose to help get it out. So if you need to do that, do that. And then what you want to do after you get that out is pop the inner joint out. And so I'd recommend using a, a crowbar, not a pry bar like the one we had because that thing just kept bending. So get a big crowbar and put it in between the transmission and the drive axle and uh, just pop it out. So a couple of things to compare your old axle and your new axle is make sure that both ends, the splines are the same length and try to compare um, the amount of splines, make sure that's the same too. And then also um, make sure on the inner joint that it has the C-clip in there at the end. So make sure that's in there or else there's nothing to hold your, uh, your axle into the transmission. And then the one last thing is uh, on the outer joint, make sure this metal ring is there if you have ABS. Because if you, if you have ABS and you don't have that metal ring, that's going to cause you problems. If you don't have ABS, like my car, and you have the metal ring, it's no big deal, and uh, don't worry about it. All right, so then what you want to do is just put your drive shaft back in. So push it straight in, and it'll pop in, just like that. And then you're probably going to have to take the, low, the fork off to get the drive shaft through that part. So you can take it off, put it through, and then put the fork back on. And then what you want to do is feed the outer joint through your knuckle. So get that started first. And then put the lower ball joint back into the lower control arm. So that's right there. Okay, make sure that you put that lower ball joint screw back on. And then uh, have them hold the brakes and retorque your drive axle nut to 181 pounds and then restake it and that's it. So I hope that helped you.